Hello, everybody. This is Pun Frugal Streamer. I was on Mugs TV's Twitch channel last night. We were discussing uh, multicasting. He wasn't sure if he would be able to do it, and he had been convinced that he couldn't because of his current audio setup. And I kept thinking in the back of my mind, there's just got to be a way. At first, I thought that there was a website, and I know that there's a website out there that actually allows you to do it. But I even thought of a better way to do it. You don't even have to use a website. You can use what you currently have. If you use OBS Studio or if you use Exploiter VMix, who also supports this. And it's called NDI. Now, NDI, I have a video on NDI, but I'm going to go back through it one more time just to show you what NDI is. Now, NDI is a network protocol that allows you to stream video and audio over your network. So you're, you know, you're using your network to get audio from point A to point B. Okay, point A being like your gaming PC, okay, or your laptop, or even cameras that uh, New Tech now sells. Camera, uh, New Tech sells cameras that use NDI. They're really expensive. We're talking like 2,500 bucks. New Tech is geared toward professional video, audio productions, television, recording events, that sort of thing. As a matter of fact, ESL is now using NDI to multicast all their gaming PCs to their streams or esports. Okay, so with that being said, Nick Muggs was saying, I'd love to do a multicast with my future wife, Ulala, who also streams Battlefield other games. They want to do a multicast stream together, and he wants to output it using a stream ring. Okay, so I thought about this, NDI, and I was like, I'm going to see if this really can... If my network can really handle two PCs feeding to my network, to my streaming rig simultaneously. Okay, so what I've done is I have gone and set up NDI. So what you need to do, if you have OBS Studio installed, go to obsproject.com. My display. Here. So go to obsproject.com, go to the forum. Go to OBS Studio Plugins, and then look for this forum thread, OBS NDI New Tech NDI Integration into OBS Studio. Click on that, then go to this red button, Download Now. That will take you to the GitHub site. And there's two things you need to do. First of all, download and install the NDI 3.0 runtime first. Very important that you do this before you try to install a plugin. Okay, so download, install this. Very simple. It's a Windows installer. Second. Install OBS NDI 4.2.2 Windows Installer. Again, it's a Windows Installer. Answer to questions. It's going to look like it's installing, and I guess it is installing a new OBS. Just let it do it. All your data will be saved. Don't worry about losing anything. I have done this like four or five times on various tutorials, installing it, and I have not had a single problem. So just answer yes when it asks you, if you want to install it on your C drive or wherever you have OBS installed already. Okay. So when you get that done, you restart your computer. You are now going to have OBS Studio. I'm going to do this lower right here. Actually, no, I'm going to blow it up so you can see it better. So you're going to have NDI tools in two locations. So, okay, first of all, tools menu. You have NDI output settings. That will be used for any PC you want to stream over your network to your streaming rig so your gaming pc a laptop whatever okay if you, if you ever go out and buy one of those fancy wireless cameras that in new tech sells then you can stream that and uh anyway so any i output settings make sure so, so say this is my gaming pc all you need to do is enable any i output name it something whatever you want to name it to, so that you remember what PC it is. You do not need to click asynchronous sending. You can if you want to try it. I personally have not checked it and I haven't had any issues with anything. Um, anyway, so enable that. Now I'm not going to enable it, actually enable it because I don't need to because this is actually my streaming rig. But what you need to do is if you want to set up a source on your streaming rig to detect any NDI feeds and you need to make an NDI source and that's what I've done right here uh, you're actually looking at my gaming PC okay this is the source the NDI source and this is my gaming PC that you can see all my games and everything on right so you go to properties once you build this 
this is when you add the source this is the uh, UI you're going to get and you can see here that I can select you have multiple NDI feeds that it's detected okay so I select desktop I've allowed hardware acceleration you don't have to use that I'm using it just because it might you know help with resources and hit OK so that's what I have here now I've actually made a multicast that's actually feeding both of my NDI source so NDI source number two is my laptop now here is my laptop right here I'll show you so you can verify there is my laptop actually you can't see it hold on a second there we go so there's my laptop right here so you can see it see to see what it's feeding and we'll go back to the multicast and there's the screen right there so that is my laptop streaming to my stream rig and likewise this is my gaming pc okay so i have two independent uh pc streaming to my stream rig at the same time so you can actually do this make overlays you know graphics whatever and do a multicast have two people uh you can even so you can go to each of the obs's like a gaming pc your gaming pc that you're using if you have a webcam throw up your webcam on there so that you can have your webcam up so then you'll have two independent webcams two angry gamers this is meant for you because now instead of just showing one uh point of view and two uh cameras over skype you can use ndi you can have both point of views and both cameras at the same time so you can switch around you can you you know make multiple scenes for the different point of views you can have a scene with both point of views up at the same time and i think that'll actually improve your live stream so go out there guys try this out uh if you have a guy that, a, a you know another player that's uh male or female that you're playing with constantly and you want to do a multicast this is for you it will really help out a lot and i hope you go out there give it a shot i think it'll work out for you uh, pretty well they've done a lot of tuning with this plug-in they're constantly updating it and pretty soon streamlabs obs will also support ndi they have already said they're going to do it um but they you know it's just on their roadmap it's on the list when they get to it they're going to start using it, it should be pretty simple to do since the plugins pretty much already been built for it it's just a matter of integrating it in there um i don't know if obs studio will take the plugin and just install it into the base uh program itself like they've done for other things like the amd uh, amf encoding it used to be a third-party plugin now it's built into obs one day maybe ndi will be the same way i don't know it didn't sound like they were too interested in doing it right now but you never know anyway Go out, try NDI. I think you'll like it. Another thing, too, and this is another thing, guys, for NDI. If you have a 1440p monitor, 144 hertz, um, you know, you have the issue with the capture card where you're cloning your monitor and it locks it at 60 because that's what the capture card is. Okay. With NDI, you can get around that now because there's no cloning. Okay, NDI is feeding off of OBS, off the preview. So, there's no cloning you get your 144 hertz 1440p monitor at its refresh rate and you're sending whatever feed a 1080p or 1440p 60 stream to your streaming rig that's awesome okay that get that really helps a lot of people really think it's going to be to the point where i don't even know if a capture card is really going to be needed anymore uh, maybe if you're doing 4k video i don't know i have not, personally can't test it i don't have 4k so i don't know if ndi can handle 4k right now but if you have 4k give it a shot i think you'll find it you know at least you'll try it if it works it works and if it doesn't you at least you know you need to buy a 4k capture all right guys that is it for me this is punt frugal streamer i hope this helped you out make sure you hit the like subscribe please i do appreciate it make sure you check out my other tutorials my playlist built on voice meter banana streamlabs obs streamlabs chatbot and obs studio also, if you like gaming, go check out my other YouTube, TFS and Punisher, especially if you like Battlefield. All right, guys, that's it. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you out there.